Sayyid Dar es Salaam is home to many nationalities from all around the world. In this program, we bring you up close and personal with international children as they practice their talents and explore the local cultures while living in Brunei. My name is Samuel, I am from the Philippines and I have been living in Brunei well over around 15 years now. Oh, my favorite thing about living in Brunei, um, I'd say really is just the people in Brunei. You know, growing up as a foreigner, um, I always wondered like how will someone like me fare in Brunei socially, but you know, just how peaceful Brunei is with, and the people just being so unified and harmonious, I think it really is something that uh, makes me feel like no matter where I am in Brunei, I always feel like I'm at home. Alright, now show us your answer. Show it to the camera. Okay. I know it's a very basic one, but I'd say Nascato. You know, for me, I'm, I'd like to consider myself a very simple person. Something like nasi kotong is something just simple, you know, nothing too much, just fried chicken and rice and sambal. But I think that's, I just appreciate the simplicity of when it comes to cultures and stuff, and I think nasi kotong is just one of those examples. So music is, would you say music is something that's uh, strong within you and your family? Something very strong in my family. My father is a guitarist and a bassist. Uh, my mom is a singer. At least I'd like to, con I li I'd like to convince myself she's one. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> me as a guitarist. And my brother as a drummer, you know, it's something, music just plays such an important role in me and my family's lives. I've been playing guitar since I was around six years old. So it started off with uh, my dad actually playing guitar in his room. And I was just standing outside of the room and I'm just, just looking at him like, that looks cool, I, I'd like to try it. And so uh, I just went up to him and I was like, Dad, can I try playing guitar? And so he just gave me the guitar and he just taught me a bit of like how it works, how uh, the notes are being played, the different types of notes. And ever since then, I just really fell in love with it. I'd say it's rather not too aggressive, but it's a bit heavy for someone who's into metal and punk. Uh, growing up, you know, uh, especially as a Filipino, my dad was also into those kind of stuff. So I guess it really just uh, sort of influenced me, uh, and it was just something that I really hold close to my heart. Oh, that's definitely going to be a different territory. It's going to be such unfamiliar territory for me, but I definitely say I'm up for the challenge. All right, so earlier you mentioned that your style of playing or your favorite genre is rock, is that right? And metal. And, and metal, <laughs> sorry. And so today you'll be playing us uh, something along those lines. Is that right? Actually, no. I'll be playing more of a country rock kind of song. Oh, it's called okay. Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. Uh, I know it's nothing uh, similar to my style, but uh, I still find it fun to play. And I actually played this song for my exam last year oh, for grade seven. That's awesome. All right. So yeah, that means right. you're going to do great with this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I look forward to hearing it. So I'll let you play and have fun. All right.
<laughs> that was amazing. So earlier you said you were up for a challenge. Still up for it? Yeah. All right, so to set you the challenge, let me introduce Hisham. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. All right, so what is the challenge you're setting today? I'm challenging Samuel to play a traditional Brunei song that is pretty well known. It's called Adai Adai. And I've arranged the piece to be played with as two guitars and we'll play it as a duet in the end. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. All right, I'm looking forward to that already. All right, are you ready for this? I am. Okay, so I'll leave you guys to it and I'll come back later on to check it out. Hi, Hisham. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so we want to know a bit more about yourself. So tell us, what do you do? Um, I've been teaching for more than five years. Uh, I teach at a local music school. I also teach privately. It's guitar, bass, and ukulele. Oh, wow, okay. And so how long have you been teaching? More than five years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've been teaching for a while now. Yeah. But uh, tell us, how did you get started in playing the guitar? Um, I started out with just a book. I taught myself how to play just from that one book. You learned from a book? Yeah. <laughs> and I still have that book and I still use it to teach my beginner students as well. Oh wow, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any tips for anyone who wants to learn how to play the guitar? Oh, well, um, be diligent with your practice. Uh, set goals to motivate yourself and to challenge yourself. And then um, enjoy the progress you make along the way. <laughs> Well, I think those are really good words of advice, not just for guitar, but also in life, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. All right, thank you so much. All right. All right, so here, it's actually on this bar right here that you can actually play a bit more dynamic. So like... Um So you can actually omit the five, and then when you come back here, it's kind of soft getting into the loud. So... Adai Adai is a traditional Brunei folk song that fishermen used to sing when they worked or traveled. The dance which accompanies the song depicts the life of the fishermen as they worked in the waters of Brunei. Why did you pick Adai Adai? It's a pretty popular traditional song. It's pretty well known, but a lot of people just know it by title only and they don't really know how the tune goes. So I guess I can hope that this becomes a reminder to them of how the tune sounds like. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'll admit I'm one of those guys who know the name but not the tune. So <laughs> I thank you for that because now I think that song's going to be stuck in my head. <laughs>
That was amazing, you guys. All right, Samuel, how did it feel to play that piece? Uh, it felt great, you know, for something that I'm not really too familiar with, uh, especially with local songs. Uh, it felt like something different for me and it felt like something that, even though I haven't actually picked something up like this before, um, I still managed to pull it off and I think that was great. Yeah, it was definitely awesome from what I heard and Hisham, what did you think of his performance? Yeah, I was quite surprised at how quickly he was able to pick up the song. Um, he nailed it note for note and he nailed the feel as well. Yeah, it's, I guess it just shows how his ability as a guitarist. Mm, right, and you compared to your usual style, this is very different, would you say? It is very different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for something like a uh, song that's into rock and metal, you know, something a lot more heavier <laughs> and a lot more faster <laughs> at times. You know, for something like this, uh, a totally different style, obviously. It's a very unfamiliar territory for me. Uh, even I myself didn't expect myself to be able to perform this well for such a song. So yeah, uh, even though it was a uh, different style for me, um, I still managed to nail it. Well, you definitely did great, I can tell you that much. But Hisham, out of five stars, how many stars would you give Samuel today? I would have to give him five stars out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Very generous, but well-deserved. Anyway, thank you guys so much for today. And that is all in today's episode of Living in Brunei As, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, see ya. Bye.